Hello, welcome to this video where we're going to be discussing landforms that result from sedimentary rocks. So our crucial concept to grasp here is that um, different sedimentary rocks have different um, levels of hardness. So you have some more resistant um, sedimentary rock and you have some less resistant. And we're going to have a look at how those landforms form right now. So what we're going to look at first is the um, landforms formed by horizontal strata. That's when the lines are running parallel to each other with the different types of sediment. Um, and for the image we're going to look at, we're particularly interested in what happens when there is a layer of more resistant rock on top of a layer of less resistant rock. So if we have two rivers, that's going to wear down through the more resistant layer um, and gradually wear down um, the softer sedimentary rock, but because there's this cap of harder sedimentary rock, it means that the landform is going to take a shape that is affected by that more resistant layer of sedimentary rock, meaning that that is going to erode slower than the other um, types of rocks. The next um, we're going to look at is sedimentary rock, um, but using inclined strata. So that strata at an angle can be pushed by um, igneous uh, intrusions. So we have some more resistant uh, layers and some less resistant layers. And we're just going to look at when erosion takes place from the surface. That's water and wind erosion. It's gradually wearing down on the surface. And you can see that the more resistant rock, so the lighter it is, the less resistant. Um, but the more resistant rock is taking longer to erode. And that gives us um, certain features on the landscape. Um, so what we have here is we'll have a hog's back, which is a more steep um, strata that is causing that formation and a cuesta which is slightly more gentle strata um, and each of those has a dip slope which is your long slope and a strike and the strike isn't a slope it's that high point which runs the whole way along that mountain range so this is just a like a diagram version so our dip slope at an angle um, and then along that top ridge, that is going to be our strike. It is going to run across and it is running um, perpendicular to the dip slope. That means that the dip slope um, is at a right angle to that strike. So here is an example of a mountain showing a really good dip. Uh, that dip slope is running at a gentler angle. Um, and then at the top, we're going to have our strike running along the top of that ridge um, and it's meeting that dip slope at a perpendicular angle. I hope that that helped in terms of understanding how sedimentary rocks can form different landforms. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment below um, and like, share, subscribe if you'd like more content um, for high school geography um, and share with your friends if you think that they're going to need some help with this as well. Uh, let's all stick together and uh, shout if you have any questions.